sports fan. Schulte's Card Pulls back here with another hunt for retail sports cards. I wanted to start at a local Target because we've been seeing a lot more cards popping back up on the shelves. And we do see some baseball as I get in there, but none of the super premium stuff. And I even missed apparently some Prism Draft Picks football. Somebody told me that they had that there as well. Tons of Pokemon celebrations at that location. Right next to that Target is a Walmart, and I'd heard they had just stocked, so decided to stop by there as well. You see some select basketball hangers there. I picked up a couple myself, some prestige hangers, and some Topps Chrome and Bowman Platinum Baseball, as well as some Don Ross Football. Next stop, a Rite Aid, and was looking for those Prism Basketball Cello Packs. They didn't have those. They had the Prism Draft Picks Football Cello Packs instead, unfortunately. Next up, another Walmart in Oregon, and... They had just been stocked as well with a ton of celebrations. It looks like you see more select hangers there, tons of baseball and more Don Russ. No Don Russ optic basketball, though, unfortunately. Did pick up a celebrations ETB, and then you see some chrome and a select basketball hanger with the wife. was fun to go card hunting with her. All right, guys, next couple of locations. The last on the list, one Walmart in Woodburn, Oregon. They had just gotten a bunch of stuff as well. However, it was basically the same that I'd seen at other stores, including... No Don Russ Optic Basketball. So grabbed another box of Pokemon Celebrations to rip there, but that was about it. The huge haul, though, of the day, everybody. Check this out. This was one of the biggest restocks at a Walmart that I had seen in a long time. And this, look at this shelf. This looked like this because apparently uh, the lady told me that was stocking had been there for the first time in two months. And they had everything from Pokemon to select basketball blasters and hangers, Don Russ football, even Chronicles football from 2020. Haven't seen that on the shelves in a while. And here's why being nice when you're out hunting for retail sports cards can really go a long way. Perfect example, my dad and I were there, and he had actually been there a little bit earlier, but I came to meet him. There were a couple people there hanging around, and my dad was a lot nicer than all those other people were. She told them basically to go pound sand and told my dad that he could pick out essentially whatever he wanted. So that was really nice, and it just goes to show you that kindness is key when you're out hunting for retail sports cards. All right, a successful sports card hunt. Let's take him home and see if we can rip anything awesome out of these boxes. A few moments later. We're going to rip a couple hangers because they are bangers, hopefully, even though my luck has been absolutely terrible. Come on, Ralphie. Big money. Big money, Ralphie. And make sure you stick around, you guys. I will be giving away a couple of cards from this video like I usually do. So these Topps Chrome hangers, you guys, man, Topps has been absolutely watered down for Chrome this year. You used to be able to pull, it felt like a decent hit, I mean, out of every box or two that you got. But it seems like going through Chrome in 2021 has just been a very arduous process. You really can't find great hits. And I do like, though, the one thing that they do very nicely is they put the cards in actual packs inside the hangers. Man, first or second hanger box that I opened from Chrome 2020 last year was an auto rookie Trent Grisham numbered out of 99. Do you think you can repeat your performance? Anthony Rendon. Dylan Carlson, rookie base. I've pulled more of him than I can imagine. Hopefully he turns out to be something awesome. Keep it Ruiz. And then on the back, we have got a refractor of Starling Marte. No longer playing on the Marlins. Now on the Oakland Athletics. Or finish the year off with the Oakland A's. All right, guys, hopefully something good out of these packs. No sepia, no pink or anything like that included. Gio Urshela, Mike Yastrzemski, and a Mike Trout 35th anniversary throwback. That's not too bad looking. That's an 86 throwback Trout card that is fairly well-centered. Three more packs, and we'll see what we're getting into in the select basketball hangar, man. I have not seen anything close to a good pull out of select basketball hangers like ever. There we go, Kyle Lewis, future stars. We're very disappointed in um, the outcome of the game. Tim Anderson, Alejandro Kirk. Then we got a Victor Robles and a refractor rookie of Nick Madrigal. I'll take that one, you guys. He's playing on the Cubs now, but that is a very decent rookie pull. Nick Madrigal. Sweet. Our right, last pack from this top's Chrome hanger box. And we do have... Kyle Lewis again on the back, you guys. This has been a Kyle Lewis box, which I guess I'll take, even though he is injured right now. Hopefully going to come back strong next year after injuring his knee again. Next, Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Make sure if you have not, you subscribe to Schultz's Card Pulls. Hit that like button.
on this video as well. Helps me out a ton. Just takes you a second. I do all kinds of retail rips like this. Hobby box rips, retail hunts. I help you find cards on Target.com during live stream drops in the morning. So, let's see what we got, you guys. All right, Bogdanovich. Then we got Andre Drummond. Hey, a LaMelo Ball rookie card. I'll take that, you guys. That's a 5 or $10 card, but already making this hanger pretty decent. I love it! We'll get that LaMelo sleeved up. Cameron Johnson, Josh Green rookie card. Uh, Gallinari. And we got a Colin Sexton, Eric Bledsoe. Is this our courtside? No, not quite yet. Aaron Neesmith. Here is our courtside. It is Zach Levine. Courtside of Zach Levine. Nobody we're looking for, unfortunately. Rudy Gobert. Kevin Love. And then we got uh, Lori Marketing. All right, guys. Shimmers coming up. Four shimmers per hanger box here. Andre Drummond. LaMelo. Are you there? <laughs> no, we got an Emmanuel quickly, and I believe it is another Nick behind that. Let's hope it's an Obi. No, it is a Mavericks blue instead of Nick's blue. Chris Stapps, Porzingis, Darius Garland. A Selections Blue parallel behind this, you guys, and of Deja. So not really the guy we're looking for. Sadiq Bay, and no, so that wasn't a court side. That was just a silver blue card, and then a Jaron Jackson. So both of these are silver blue prisms. The best one coming out of that hanger, a LaMelo Ball. Fire. So we're looking for Rated Rookie Blue Press Proof Parallels. Hopefully we can find a Trevor Lawrence. I don't think that we can pull down Towns, unfortunately, out of the fat packs. All right, let's get through all of the commons there, you guys. There's just commons that are put up front here. Now we'll get to the short prints that are turned over into the rated rookie press proofs and the parallels. All right, Connor James, Baker Mayfield, nice short print mask there. Marcus May, Barry Sanders, image variation. Denzel Mims, Darius Leonard. Then we've got a Daniel Sorensen, Chase Young, our first rated rookie of the box, or excuse me, the pack, Marquez Stevenson there for the Buffalo Bills. Ooh, I saw Jaguars colors again. <laughs> Travis Etienne Jr., he has just totally faked me out every single pack, it feels like at this point. Ah, <laughs> Racy McMath. All right, guys, into our blue press proofs right here. Blue press proofs should have four per pack. A Khalil Mack, they don't have to be rated rookies. Maybe two of them will. All right. I'll take that, you guys. A Justin Herbert second year blue press proof. Technically uniform matching. Nice. So it looks like we get one rated rookie uh, per pack, and three of the press proofs are just veterans. So we got a DJ Chark here, you guys. And let's see who our last rated rookie is after we reveal. Oh, that's not too bad at all. A rookie's insert of Jalen Waddle. Waddle, Waddle. Not too bad. All right, behind this DJ Chark, we have a Greg Rosal. You want to win, right? I'm feeling super generous, so I'm not really going to pick other cards. I think everybody would really want this card. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give away this base LaMelo Ball Select Blue that we pulled out of that hanger box in the second box of the video. So here's what you do. You make sure you are subscribed to Schultz's Card Pulls. I will check uh, when I pick the winner. Smash that like button on this video and leave a comment letting me know if you think that LaMelo Ball is going to lead the Hornets to the playoffs this season. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click on the video popping up on the screen right now. You can watch me explaining why I think the Fanatic Sports Card Takeover is a very good thing.